What are the things we have to sell? Oh my god, I hear something. There's another one! What is happening?! What is this bullshit?! All right, we are back in Outward with our hero, Jim. Now, when we last left Jim, uh, we had just clawed our way out of this mountain that is uh, filled uh, pretty much from top to bottom with Tonosaurs, which is a little bit ironic because uh, at the beginning of the last episode, I said we are done hunting Tonosaurs, at least for now, that we would pick it back up once we had uh, too many traps, uh, which is a, a common occurrence. Employing traps is, is one of the main strategies for myself for this playthrough. Um, so I figured we would return to the clearing where we had found the Alpha Tonosaur at a time when we had more than just a couple of traps. So I said, hey, let's continue the story. And we made our way out to the Ash Giant Village, and the Ash Giant said, oh, we'd love to form an alliance for you if only... You would head to this mountain and climb inside, and that mountain was filled, as I said, from top to bottom with Tonosaurs and Alpha Tonosaurs and all sorts of things like that. We had a few defeat scenarios, so uh, a little bit of time has passed, but we did manage to gather the Obsida root that the Ash Giant had asked for, and we can start our way out here. I'm just watching out, there was a Tonosaur here when we came up, and I'm just in no mood. <laughs> yeah, so we were tasked with getting an Obsida root, and we actually got two Obsida root. Uh, and I hope, I would hope, that we can give this to him and be like, listen, you asked for one, here's two. Stop giving us a hard time and let's form that alliance. I am sure, knowing this game as well as I do, he'll have something along the lines uh, to say to me, something like, um, I'll think about it for five days, in the meantime, Chierzo needs your help or something. <laughs> it's gonna be something like that. Or, there's actually five Obsidian Roots in there that I needed to find, each more hidden than the last. We're just watching out down here because... There were Tonosaurs. But yeah, like I said, for the meantime, we're heading back to the Ash Giant Village. See what they have to say. Hopefully what they have to say is, let's make an alliance, though. It is... Am I overweight? No, I'm good. It is uh, outward, so I'm sure there will be more nuance to the task. In the meantime, I think we also... Yeah, we should probably do some sleeping and some repairing and all that jazz, so... Maybe we head back to Monsoon first. Man, I don't want to hear nothing from Stekosaurs, and I think I see one. I mean, there's a bunch of dead bodies. It's tough to tell if there's one up or not. <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing from nobody. Because we've cleared this thing out like three times over at this point. All right, off we go to the giant's village to talk to High Lord Seer. No stekosaur surprises? No? Good. Good. Am I seeing two bandits? Hmm. We're gonna take care of these guys. Oh my god, I'm so done with you. No, no you don't. Whoops, wrong one. Whoops. Nice, you're dead. Got you. Oh, I should've taken advantage of that. Nice. Woo, that was a good start. I mean, we took a bit of health hit, but... Better than my usual first fight. <laughs> All right, you guys. Stop respawning. <laughs> all right. In we go. Time to see what High Lord Seer has to say about all our hard work. He better appreciate this. That's all I got to say. I mean, you... He... You, oh, this guy must have known. Hi, guys. I'm back. This guy must have known what he was sending us to do. All right. We shall talk to High Lord Seer. Here's your obsidian root, my friend. Oh, you actually bring me the rare root. You must be very strong. <laughs> Maybe there is a benefit in alliance with humans. Nice. All right. I'm ready to make alliance talk with you. Hmm. You want to start alliance talk now? All right, whatever. We're doing it. I don't know what else I could do. I mean, I probably could run to every town in this place and talk to every single person to find the scholar that knows about giants, but I'm just going for it. We're going to talk to him. You come at a good time, human. We are ready too. Now. How you make this work? If High Lord Seer join your Blue Room Collective, what means exactly? Oh, God. This seems like a mistake. I mean, but I only could have gotten it by getting that information from Goldbelly. I mean, whatever. Fuck it. I'm gonna do it. This is the point of this game. I'm gonna roll the dice, and if it's a bad outcome, it's a bad outcome. That's the fun of it. I'm using it. I'm using the gossip... I heard from Goldbelly to tempt his ambition. It means you become a Chamber Lord, helping decide on important issues that affect all the tribes. We debate to find a solution that works for everybody. And you give this power to I? You welcome me like this? I like this respect. 
Hi Lord Seer says, what you expect from us if we join, hmm? You want us to follow, to be follow blue room laws? Uh, I'll use the gossip again and hope for the best. Chamber Lords can rule their land as they choose. Although most follow our tribal laws, they've kept us alive for the past thousand years. So tribe law is just recommendation. As long as not causing major problems for other tribes, we is not in trouble. Hmm, this is not bad. I not understand how human culture not fall apart. How you handle life without the guidance of the Dusk Father and Dawnweaver. Uh, while, we'll say the first one. While individuals on their own, the tribe and the chamber lord act as guidance for anyone who needs it. Hmm, this is chaos, but at least it is controlled chaos. We will not do this, but if it worked for humans, I say let them. Okay, cool, not, not a form of alliance. Now how you blue room people handle law. What you do if there is criminal. Uh, we'll try the second one. The blue chamber believes that we must avoid killing unless it is necessary. Criminals are either exiled or must repay the tribe. This is like us too. I think you should let exiles back into the tribe eventually, otherwise they just a waste to your people. I hear human worship other human named a lot. Why they dare mock Duskfather and Dawnweaver. No living thing can be a god. Oh man, I feel like this is going to appeal to this guy, but... I'm gonna go with the second one. Karash Naga! So we said, um, he's just, a, he's not so much alive as he's a thought that lives on after his body's death. Karash Naga, Duskfather not pleased. No life survived past death. Only porcelain and ash silk does. You humans bow to fake tricks and empty god. Alright, I got like fucking four out of five things here, so. It only been short time in Ashborn time since Earth beasts appear. Humans let them out into our world, we sure. What do you do about them, these enders of your world? All right, we'll go with the next one. I mean, these guys seem kind of warrior-esque. This guy's carrying three spears on his back, and he's kitted out in armor. They're not the end of the world. They're like any monster. As long as you know how to fight them, they aren't a problem. I suppose they're talking about the Scourge. Ha, you think that now. But when they bleed the ground and kill the world, you realize you're wrong. We hoped you had a better plan than that. Enough, I think I am ready to decide. Well, I hope I've convinced you. Yes, I know what Dawnweaver would like Ashborn to do about this alliance. Hmm. I not see benefit to closer connection. I satisfy with things are now, I refuse alliance. Man, screw you. I don't know about that. A lot of your people seem really disappointed about your decision. I decide what is allowed in Ashborn society and what is not. If others not like it, too bad. Oh my god. I talked to one person. <laughs> I, I don't think that I have the cojones to say to this guy in his house after talking to one person who was like, nah. Man, that's a bummer. We got a... I feel like we got a bunch of these correct. Um, all right. Well, I tried. I'm sorry you feel that way. You're still allowed to visit, but you only deal with gold belly. You leave rest of people alone. Yeah, I, no one else talks in this place anyway. That's going to be a bummer because this guy's got palladium and I want palladium. Hello there, friend. Okay, yeah, no, I can still talk to you. Let's talk to Goldbelly. Uh, I'd like to talk, Goldbelly. Well, it looks like things will not change much, but maybe someday we will work together. I'm glad you came, human. Feel free to visit and trade with me, huh? You don't like how two things work, and so you don't want to form an alliance? Whatever. Whatever, Risa. Maybe you come out and do your own dirty work next time. Yeah, all right, back to Bert, because we can drop off all this heavy stuff we're carrying. Carrying a bunch of crap. I'd like to drop that stuff off, talk to Risa, and see just how disappointed she is in us. <laughs> I'm gonna lean towards very. <laughs> there is bandits out here. We'll take care of those guys before we leave. Don't be looking at me. I'm doing stuff. Here. No, 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 no. Walk through that. Did you walk through it? Come over here. Ha uh -huh. ha. Uh -huh. You didn't get it. Whoops. Damn it. There. Now you're done. Now I can't walk. Give me my bag. <laughs> Alright, we'll drop our bag here. Get our stuff out, and we will attack this guy. Get it! There we go. Nice. You know, we're out here adventuring. We gotta talk to Risa, but... You know, she's just gonna tell us how disappointed we are. She is in us. <laughs> it's like going to tell your parents you did a bad thing. Like, you take the long way home. 
We'll go see what goes on in here. Oh, can I get back out of here? Yeah, over there. Uh, is this water gonna be poisonous? I feel like it's gonna be. All right, we're gonna take a look inside. Hopefully it's not a nightmare. Let's find out. We're not gonna stay to traverse through some dungeon. We're gonna go talk to Risa, but... If this is, uh, friendly or easy... <laughs> It's gonna be filled with tonosaurs. There's like every type of troglodyte in there. Those things are all a pain in the ass. All right, well, there's a book here. This appears to be a book written by an explorer who spent a year living near the giants. A lot of the pages are ruined, but many sections were made intact. Aw, oh, screw you. <laughs> Giant children are examined by the high monk and the high lord. When 20 years old and their position in life is decided, Builders, merchants, and craftsmen serve the High Monk, and soldiers, artists, and farmers are governed by the High Lord. Families of deceased giants will give a heart from the dead to the local High Monk, who will use their craft to merge the stone heart into porcelain art, so that p some part of the giant's life will endure beyond their death. The High Lord will then commission a silk banner to reflect the giant's deeds and knowledge. Ash giants believe that, the death, that death is final, and that only the works that have been created in porcelain and ash silk endure beyond death. They do, however, believe in passing down the wisdom of their ancestors via these crafts to educate and guide their descendants. Man, I could have used this. Let's learn about their laws and punishment. Giants who cause minor transgressions must make amends to the person they wronged and must create a porcelain item or an ash silk item. Oh, hold on a second. We're going to be sneaking while we read this. I don't need somebody attacking me. Uh, where were we? Must create a porcelain item or an ash silk item for the wronged party, depending on their trade. Larger transgressions carry the penalty of exile for 20 years. After that time, the giant may attempt to seek forgiveness and return to giant society. A giant may be forgiven only twice, once in the name of the Dawnweaver and once in the name of the Duskfather. After a third transgression, the giant may never return to their colony and is considered dead to them. However, returning an exile's heart is welcome as even the worst giants are considered to have a place within their history. Interesting. The only crimes that are unforgivable across all of giant society are the murder of a silk weaver or a porcelain crafter. For every other offense, it is possible to seek forgiveness after a period of exile. Although each giant tribe uses their own discretion for whether or not to forgive a crime. Uh, that was without a doubt the stuff that I needed to learn to have a better conversation with him. Also, I think I gave the ash giant heart to Helen Turnbull. I bet I could have turned it into one of those guys and probably gotten a better favor. Well, now we know if we ever do this again. Man. Oh, well, now we know. There's no, like, update, right? Literally just talk to Risa and tell her you boffed it. <laughs> hey, Risa, so about that Ash Giant whole alliance negotiation thing, we should talk. Hopefully she disowns me. <laughs> She's like, forget it. You're not even worth it. You're a terrible son. Who has failed at his one task. Alright. Bye, Hallowed Marsh. If we never return, it'll be too soon. <laughs> Actually, we will be back, because I'm going to eventually get... Even if it's for the principle of it alone, we're getting Tonosaur... Uh, tail. Oh my goodness, it's good to be home. You know, I am glad we bought the... Oh, is it fresh? Why is it fresh? It's the middle of the day. No, it's kind of late. Five o'clock at night? That's a little late. Let's eat a bug. And let's uh, take on these stupid idiots. What are you guys doing here? Didn't I leave a... I feel like I left a... Um, a bunch of alpha deer here. And uh, I don't think we need any special rags or anything. Howdy, friend. You want to come fight me? Alone? Yes, leave your magic friend behind. No, he's coming with you. Dead. Oh, I missed being here. Do your thing. You know you want to. Ha ha ha. Dead. I don't even have to use my execution. Oh my goodness. How I missed being home. Ah, oh, I ripped those up, jerky. See, you guys have all the good stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness, we didn't even take a hit. Oh god, I'm glad to be home. <laughs> oh, and there's a back way into 
This is just the best. <laughs> oh, fuck the Hallowed Marsh forever. Oh, there's even more bandits. Yeah, we'll take them on. I want your... How much room do I have? Yeah, I got room. I'll take all you guys on at once. Come on. Whoops. Come along, friend. Aha. And you're done for. Complete low. Oh, shit. Dead. Do it. Dead. No, don't hit me. I hit you only. <laughs> we didn't even need to use our electricity. Jim's just overzealous after all of that. Look at this pile of loot. Give me everything. I'll sort it out later. It's all mine. <laughs> all right. Into Berg we go before we get cold. Carrying our sparkly axe. Oh my goodness, finally back home. All right, we are going first to the house to drop off the stuff that I don't want to accidentally sell. I would like to train with you, Ture. All right, what is this? Feral Strikes. Rage Boon. Attack twice, consuming my Rage Boon in the process. Inflicts extreme bleeding and pain. And it costs $600. Let's get it. Feral Strikes. Extreme bleeding, consumes my Rage Boon, and inflicts pain. We're doing it. Done. Now we've got 65 bucks left to our name. Okay, we're gonna go talk to Risa. <laughs> Deliver the bad news. See if she's an understanding mom. All right, here we go. The bearers of bad news. We have failed you, Risa. You're back. How did it go? I couldn't make it happen. I'm sorry. Well, it was a long shot at any rate. Thank you for your efforts. Oh, well, thank you for appreciating it. Uh, she gave me stuff. Nice. Whispering Bones has been added to my journal. How did things go while I was gone? Levant's aggressive looting of the eastern regions has roused many estranged tribes within the Collective. Tribes that have barely kept contact with us have sent a flood of new warriors, all of them eager to fight. Oh, nice. So it sounds like we got people on our side. With the Ash Giants on our side, we could have turned this war around overnight, but even without them, I see our chances improving considerably. Awesome. All right, now what? Oh, Risa will have a task in three days. All right, well, it's going to be three days before Risa has something else for us. Uh, what we will do is we'll head out into the Enmerkar Forest in the rain. Hopefully it's not fresh outside. And we'll see what's uh, going on in our hometown. Well, it's going to be three days before Risa has anything for us. Uh, we didn't spend a ton of time exploring Berg, uh, so we'll do that for a little bit. Since we're pretty deep into this episode, uh, getting out to Risa to deliver the bad news that she took pretty well, I will say. But we'll spend the time waiting for her to have an update. Uh, we'll spend that seeing how the uh, how things are going in our hometown. And it looks like there are some bandits that need dealing with. Which I will happily do. Let's see. Oh, that was the wrong one. No, it was the right one. Did I get hit by somebody? I did. Ah, oh, ha, 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 ha. Good shot, my friend. Nice. Oh, I love it. Yeah, maybe it's time to, uh, to police the area of Berg a bit. We have that manticore tail that needs to get found. Um, we need some beast golem scraps for the Kazite lady. Plenty to do in Berg. And a wonderful place to be doing it. I'm pretty sure there is a little miscellaneous dungeon in the foot of that tree. And maybe, just maybe, we'll head in there. Hopefully it's not a gigantic mistake, but... Feeling a little overconfident. Jim's doing rather well with how quickly he can dispatch these bandits. And we got three days to kill. Until Risa is meant for us. Right over here? I think I can get in here. Yeah, there you go. Alright, let's go in. Enter the tree husk. Good, that'll get us out of the fresh weather. Oh shit. What the fuck is that? I don't even know what that is. Alright, we'll go this way first. Ah, I gotta jump down. Alright, whatever, we're doing it. That's what we're here for. I'm gonna regret this. This is a fucking ghost place! Oh shit. Shit. I'm not ready for this. Okay, I will be. 
No, I can't swing. He's not swinging. Oh, Rage Boon. I ate my Rage Boon. I did not realize that. I just took a bunch of hits, not realizing I ate my Rage Boon. That's not great. Nice! Woo! <laughs> I was not looking at the side of the screen to see that I had already used- Oh, nice! Beast Golem Scraps, we need those. Well, now we know how powerful these guys are, that's good. Oh, man. Does not open from here. Alright. I see ghost plants in there, I really hope that doesn't mean there's gonna be ghosts, because I have a ton of spiritual varnish back at the house that I just dropped off. I should have brought at least one with me. Do I have fire? I can make fire. I have one fire rag. Two fire rags. Oh shit. Assassin bug. Right? I think that's what these are. Howdy, friend. Ah, oh, you got me. No, I don't want to dive. I want to run. Go, run, 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 go. Nice. All right, we'll fight you down here. Come along, friend. I would like to rage. He's bleeding, that's good. Oh, he got me. No. No. Now. You. Die. I can't reach him. Oh my god! Oh, he died. Good. <laughs> Alright. I kicked him up the side of a wall. What you got for me? Anything good? No. Alright, we're still healing. We'll take our bag with us. We have to. And we're gonna keep going. I'm not too worried. There's a chest up here. That's nice. There's a very bright light over there. Hmm. Alright. Oh, shit. Another drop down. Well, we dropped. Wait, that's where we were. That's where we were. Where does this go? Oh. That's it? It's just a circle? Hold on a second. I'm doing this again. There's gotta be a way in here, right? There's nothing in any of this. Alright, unless I missed it. Just a little circle. Hmm. Alright. Oh, you know what? Let's go out to that Cabal of Wind Temple. That, I believe, had an aggressive Scourge Beast. We've got seven traps. We could lure him into seven traps, then defeat him, and then see, uh... I think he guards a hole and not much else, but we could jump in that hole and see what's down there. That was surprising. Just a little circle. I mean, there's some other thing I clearly have to do to open that door. Probably leads from somewhere else, but I'm sure we'll stumble across it someday. Oh, and we got a Beast Golem Scrap. We need two of them. Once we get two, we can go back to the Kazite Lady, I think. Adventuring is thirsty work. Oh, nice. Talk to this dude. Huh. Damn! 15% stamina cost. Oh my god, I don't have $240. I want this right now. Shit. I'll never get up to $240. I do not have anything worth that much money. Man, I want that Master Trader hat. I didn't even know it existed. Way better stamina cost and movement speed? That's my jam. Now I have to not only... Do I have to save up $240, I gotta find that hat again somewhere. Because I'm never gonna see it in that guy again. That's for damn sure. One thing I am gonna do... Is I'm gonna go to this windmill first. And on the off chance, I find a $240 <laughs> weapon to sell. I'm running right back to that guy. Just give me, like, nothing but gems. Big money. Nothing but gems in here. Nothing. I am gonna run straight back to this guy. We're gonna eat a bug first. I have no expectation of getting $240, but I do want to get this off of me. And see how close I can get. Because if we gotta sell things like bandages, oh, I'll do it. Oh, I need- oh, shit! Alright, well, we'll fight this guy. Is he coming right after me? 
He is kind of beelining it at me, and I wanted to make a trap on him first, but... Alright. Alright, let's do it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? How did you even get up there? Oh my god. You! Nope. Follow me, you idiot. I don't even know how you got up here, and I'm angry at you for doing it. Get over here. Spent all this time. No! Get run through this one. Go! Run th you gotta run through this. That's right. <laughs> oh, man. Danger Muppets, I want nothing to do with- Don't come over here, because I'm gonna go shopping. <laughs> nice. Uh, I might sell my Palladium Spikes, because we're really trying to put together a hundred bucks right here. I want this damn hat. Oh, they're getting close. Oh, go away! Oh my god, I hear something else. Shit! Seriously? Oh, shit. Fall down! Good. Alright, we did get hurt. And this fucking- Dude, it is so busy here right now! Get lost! Yo, this should be safe harbor. How does he not get attacked? You know, this guy is singled out. Maybe we just go take care of him. I don't know how tough these guys are. I remember them being a bit of a pain. Don't you dare run away now. One's down. Oh, and I got hit. Dead. You're all dead. Ah, oh, fuck, man. What is that? There's another one! What is happening? Did I- did- did I trigger something? Why is there five of these here? Don't- don't- no, 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 no. I'm out of stamina. We're getting our stamina back. That's what's happening. Nope. There we go. I don't want to hear nothing. This is a safe zone now. I have declared this a safe zone. Everyone, screw off. If So help me God, if you despawn, I will rip this game to shreds. Give me everything. What do you guys carry? Predator bones, of course. Nothing cool, huh? Uh... <laughs> All right. Bro, first off, eat a bug. That's number one. Don't get a catch a cold out here, Jim. Oh my god. That's it. There better not be another single person coming anywhere near me. <laughs> what are the things we have to sell? Oh my god, I hear something. There's another one! What is happening? What is this bullshit? All right, hold on a second. Here, we're doing a couple things. No. Oh my god, he got me twice. Don't you do it! Oh, you know what I have also? Nice. There. Oh my god, this is- I swear to god! That's it! You're done! No more! <laughs> <laughs> is this the fucking beast golem factory? All right, I'm selling at least one of your things. All right, cool. I got a few things to sell. Don't you dare go anywhere. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to see nothing. It's over. We're done with it. <laughs> 300. Done. I got my fucking hat. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, this is our new permanent hat. <laughs> oh, it was worth it. It was worth it. Look at us in our cowboy hat. Alright, do you have anything else I need? Now that I sold my life away and had to literally spend down or kill every single thing in a hundred mile radius. Oh my goodness. Are you even kidding me with this? Look. One, two, four beast golems. And two of whatever these danger muppet things are. I forget what they are even called. I forgot to look at what they were actually called. Oh my god. We killed every beast golem on the map. That's for sure. It doesn't really match our whole, like, look. But hey, we're the new sheriff in town with our sheriff's hat. Oh my- this was- this was unheard of. There's clearly... Somewhere around here is a beast golem factory. And is it not fresh anymore? Oh no, I still have my warm boon. Oh my god, there's another- I'm not fighting you. I'm done with you. I'm over. I'm over it. I'm- I'm done. <laughs> what the hell? And we'll run up and give these to the Kazai trader. And they will give us two bandages and an iron sword. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jim. You earned your keep today. My god. They weren't nearly as hard as Tonosaurs. But the quantity of them, they all concentrated in that one little spot, my god. Oh my goodness, okay, I am completely ready for this lady to be like, here's, uh, two tripwire traps, and a scrap of palladium. <laughs> it's gonna be something dumb. <laughs> lady, this was, this was something else. Two assassin's elixirs! Alright! Well, you're welcome. What is that worth? What do these do? Increases my movement speed, my stealth, and coats my equipped melee weapon with poison. That's not bad. All right, well, that's a great place to leave it. My goodness. Jim went through the beast golem gauntlet, but, uh, we managed to defeat them all. Uh, we still got a couple of days until Risa is ready to talk to us again. Maybe, just maybe, when we return, uh, we'll head back into the monsoon with the specific intent of defeating one more Alpha Tonosaur, because that is the last piece left. We have a Palladium Scrap, we have a Tonosaur Tail, we have our Brutal Great Axe. That's the last piece left for the Tonosaur Great Axe, so perhaps we'll do that, uh, but we will see about that in the next episode. So subscribe for more Outward, and we'll see you next time.